pre-final, 173.66. Pang and Tong are your leaders. Obertas and Slavnov in second. Here are the former world champs, Maria Petrova and Alexei Tikhonov from Russia in second place after the short program. They won in Japan at the NHK Trophy and captured the silver medal at Grand Prix Paris to earn their trip to this final here in Beijing. They had a short program of their life here at the Grand Prix final, gaining a lot of confidence through this whole Grand Prix, skating very consistently, opening double axles, out of unison, but the power certainly present. Followed up with side-by-side -side triple toe loops. Well done. They won their world championship back in 2000. Last year, got their first gold medal in the Grand Prix Series in some four years. Again, here they are at the final. They've won the bronze medal twice in this event in their careers. Side by side triple sal cows an upgrade up but he put his hand down there. They've been trying to upgrade the difficulty of this program. That jump pass used to be the side by side double axles. Now compare the triple twist with the Chinese team and you see the difference. Mm -hmm. Not so high but very nice and tight rotation. Beautiful landing on the pro triple loop. Their speed in all of their transitions from element to element has really improved this season. They look more powerful, they look more assertive, and they'll certainly need that in this field. They need to bring everything technical to the equation because I wouldn't say that they're emotional skaters. When we'll watch Chen and Zhao later, we'll see that they're able to emit a, a feeling with the music that they are not, Petrov and Tikhonov have never been, that's never been their strength. And it's hard to interpret a march with a lot of emotion. <laughs> that's true. A very linear piece of music and, and they skate it that way. And they tend to choose those types of themes as well. sink there but also getting closer so it's hard to uh, fully extend your legs program here predictable 
traditional, yes, but that works too. What's interesting is they they have really improved this season. The speed, the power, their intentions a little bit more intense than we've seen in the past. At a time when many thought they would have moved on. Mm. They both want to coach after their skating careers are done and some thought they'd already be in that profession by now but they so they want to stay until the younger generation of Russian skaters is ready and also I think the fact as we mentioned the 2005 World Championships they're in Moscow and they want to skate at home and try to win a gold medal or at least make it to the podium. Maria Petrova and Alexei Tikhonov. What's great is that throughout the season, they're upgrading the difficulty of the program here, the side-by-side -side triple Salkow. He had a little hand down there, just didn't have the rotation quite, not enough tightness in the air. And then the lift, the lifts that they do, just so innovative and difficult to step through here. You don't want to have him miss that. <laughs> he might have a shoulder issue. Spacing. And then into a change of position here, the footwork excellent. Then the dismount upside down. Very, very interesting. They've been at it for a long time. She is 27, he is 33. With Milan Velikova, their coach, longtime coach, former assistant to Tamara Moskvina. The score to beat 173.66. That's the mark of Ping and Tong. So 119.90. You add that to their short program total, it's 187.32. So Petrova and Tikhonov set the new mark. They are the current leaders. But there is one team left, and they're the home team. And they've won 